Today we're going to do a quick review on the acids and bases that we learned yesterday. We started learning about conjugate acids and base pairs, where acids, according to bronsted lowry donated H's, while bases gained the H. So the first three examples deal with this idea. First thing to do, number one, is to find the matches or the pairs. So if we simply match up the ammonium ion to the ammonia and the cyanide ion to the HCN, we see and track the H's. So going back to the definition, NH4 plus becomes NH3. Clearly, it loses an H. And what loses an H? An acid. And what is the pair of an acid? If it's an acid on this side, then it'll act like a base on the other side. So we call that the conjugate base. Likewise, if one side is an acid, the other component on that same side must be the base, and that conjugate pair is the conjugate acid. And that's how we would fill out number one. To compare and contrast, number two, very similar, but a little bit of a different look. This compound looks a little different. It's actually a complex ion, which we will learn later, but it clearly gains an H. And what gains H's? Bases. So if that acts like a base, its conjugate pair will be a conjugate acid. And the water, in this case, will act like an acid, and its pairing will be a conjugate base. The last problem, we'll do the same kind of matching. Clearly that is the pairing. This seems to have lost an H, that's an acid, conjugate base, gains an H, acts like a base, pairing conjugate acid. So that's conjugate acid base pairs using Bronsted Lowry's definitions. Let's move on to number four and number five. For number four and number five, this is going to seem a little confusing in the beginning. But we'll see how it goes. It doesn't matter if it was a product or a reactant. What I did was I took both of these ions and I tried to make an acid from it. What's confusing is that it both says which species is a stronger base. The stronger a base or acid means that its partner, the conjugate acid in this case, or if you were asking base, the conjugate, then it would, if you were asking the acid, then it's conjugate base. The stronger one is, it means the weaker the other one. So let me try to give you an example. If I have F minus, and I combine it with H plus, because this is a negative ion, and I add a positive ion, which has to be the H plus, it will always make an acid. So this could have been my products or my reactants. By knowing something about strong acids and strong bases, I can figure this out. So, for example, HF, if you know it or not, is a weak acid. The reason why I know it's a weak acid, it sounds funny, but I know that it's not a strong acid based on the seven acids that we learned yesterday and at the beginning of the year. HCl, however, is a strong acid. Therefore, if this is a weak acid, that means that this lies well to the left. Weak means that it does not move far from that side. So if this is weak, then the F minus must be strong. So this will act like a strong base because this is so weak. For the second problem, if this is a strong acid, that means that the reaction drives strongly to the right. That means it will not come back to the left very hard. So if this is very strong, then the Cl would be very weak. So the answer would be that the F- minus is a stronger base because its acid on the other side is actually weaker. So let's take a look at number five. Determine which species is a stronger acid, H2O, or NH4. So same idea. I'm going to take H2O. Now I have it on the left. It could have been left or right. 
I'm going to look at its partners on the right side. So for example, I know something about OH minus. I know OH minus because OH comes from H2O. I know that's a very strong base because OH is an ever strong base. And with NH4 plus, there should be a plus. NH3, the more I learn about this, and you may not know yet, but NH3 is ammonia. It's going to be the most famous weak base we have. So that's going to be a weak base. So if this is a strong base, that means this is a very weak acid. And if this is a weak base, that means this is going to be a stronger acid. So the answer for this one would be NH4 plus would be my stronger acid. And we'll get more practice on that. But whatever one you're given, find the partner on the other side and try to figure out which one is stronger. All right, let's move on to number six. The concentration of OH minus of a solution at 25 degrees is 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. Determine all three, the concentration of H plus, pH, and pOH. These are the kinds of reactions that you're going to be doing for the whole year. So first, what I want you to do is think base. And the reason why is because of the OH minus. OH, base, H plus, acid. All right, so let's get going on to this. First thing is, if I have OH, that means I look at the reaction that I can figure out. So this reaction has, uh, formula has OH in it. So pOH equals negative log of OH minus. So then I'm just going to simply plug in the concentration of OH minus, and I get 5.0. So that is my pOH. Let me cross that out. And there I am. I have pOH. I have two more things to find. I have pH, and I have H plus. So looking at the equations that we had uh, from yesterday that we boxed, uh, we have to figure out what I have and what I'm trying to find. So in this case, now I have pOH. So what equation can I use to find pH? It's simply this. pH plus pOH equals 14. So if I take pOH or pH equaling 14 minus pOH, I get 14 minus 5 equals 9.0. All right. So that's how uh, we could figure out the pH. So that one is done there. Lastly, we need to find the H+. Plus. Well, there are actually two ways for H+. Plus. Okay, so I'm going to show you both. Both are right. Both are correct. That is your call to figure out which one you'd like to use, okay? Here's the first idea. We could do the uh, KW, the water dissociation constant, which is H plus times OH minus, gives you 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. Hence, rearrange it. I get H plus equaling the 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 over 1.0 times 10 to the negative 5. Voila, there is my 1.0 times 10 to the negative 9th. Or, I could do it a different way. Now that I have my pH up here, 9.0, I could say, well, hey, I'm looking for H plus. I have pH. So I can plug pH into uh, the equation, equaling negative log of H plus. Well, how do I find H plus? What you do to get rid of log, you take uh, 10 to the value. So in this case, it'll be 10 to the negative pH equals H plus. So if I take 10 to the negative 9.0, O, which is the pH, I'll get 1.0 times 10 to the negative ninth. So that's how you do problem six. Lastly, problem number seven. The pH of a solution at 25 degrees is 5.77. Calculate the pOH, OH, and H+. Plus. So again, another similar problem than before, but this time I'm trying to find uh, a couple different kinds of variables. So you got to think about what we have. You have pH first. So how or which one do I attack first? Here's just one idea. I need to think about pH is 5.77. So I think that if I plug that into my pH, I can find my H+. Plus. Okay, so what I do is I plug that in. So H plus equals 10 to the negative 5.77 because I got to get rid of the log. I'm going to use my calculator. I get 1.698 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. And that's my H plus. Boom. Done. Second one. I can find my OH. How do I do that? 
again, OH equals uh, the KW over the H plus, or H plus times OH minus gives you KW. So I just divide the two. I'm taking my previous answer. I get a new answer of my OH minus. Reminder, again, my OH minus right here times my H plus down here has to equal 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. Lastly, what do I need? I still need POH. Well, POH links with OH. It also could deal with pH. So I found POH with negative log times the OH equals 8.23. What's the other way you could have done it? Well, pH plus POH equals 14. So you could have simply taken 14 minus 5.77, and you could have gotten 8.23. And that's how you could have also found your POH. So you could have done it either way, but I hope that helps a little bit, and that'll get us to um, our worksheet. So we're going to take a moment, if you could, and get out uh, your uh, acid bases 1, and we're going to work on that. So we're going to work a little bit backwards here, and I'm going to do the first problem on the back. You will eventually need to do this on a separate sheet, so you might as well start it now. Then we will work on the front quickly just to show you how you start it, and then uh, that should get you on your way, at least feeling like you're starting some of these problems. So strong acid solution. I want you to determine the H+, plus, calculate the pH. You calculate the pH when uh, you have 0 0.00125 molar HNO3. So this is what you need to think of first. It's a strong acid. So it's HNO3 produces H++ plus plus NO3. When it's a strong acid, that means whatever you start with, I have a big arrow here on purpose. All of it goes to the other side. So if it all goes to the other side, if I start with this amount, I'm going to end with both of these amounts. They completely convert to the other side. So which one do I care about? Right here, the H+. Plus. Why? Because H+, plus gets me to pH. So if H+, plus equals 0 0.00125, that answers my first problem, I can simply get to pH. And how do I do that? pH equals negative log of H+. Plus. So pH equals negative log times 0 0.00125 molar. And there I am. I'm going to get the problem right there. You can calculate it yourself, flip the sheet upside down, and you can see your answer. 